and now what I'm going to do is adjust the uh, the ferrite cores uh, one and then two the ones from the other end three and four and what I'm going to be doing is looking to move this bell over to the right so I'm just going to adjust core one then core two that's core three that's core four okay I just wanted to peek it on that um, so it just so as you could see I'm going back to core one and I'm adjusting it for the maximum peak because I know that's been overdriven, I'm just going to turn the drive voltage down for that signal generator. I'm now adjusting core 2, core 3, I haven't done that one very well, and core 4. Okay, so now the peak is at uh, uh, 484 kilohertz. Um, if I make too big a change uh, in frequency, if I if I move the marker too far over, I could just lose sight of where it is. So that's why I was chasing the marker over. So I'll uh, take it up in frequency. Sorry, uh, down in frequency. Turn the uh, the out the signal generator up okay and again what I'm that is uh, uh, 477 kilohertz and I'm going to move this uh, bell over so that this marker frequency is in the center again so that's moving uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the tuning control there so I'll just move that across I'll move it uh, yeah, I'll put it in the center I'll stay consistent okay so now I'm adjusting core number one I'll move to core number two. Now moving to core number three. Again, I'll turn the that signal down because it's too big a signal. Now I'm doing core number four and all the time what I'm doing if I can find the slot uh, all the time what I'm doing is adjusting for the maximum peak uh, about that marker right, I'll go back to core number one core number two is done I'm on core number three now Core number four there. Right, uh, so that is peaked at 477. I want it to be peaked at 470 uh, kilohertz. Um, so we'll, uh, oops, doing it the wrong way. And I'll turn that down to uh, 470 or as near as I can get with this uh, little fella okay uh, so uh, 470.10 uh, okay um, and you can see there that the, hopefully you can see there the markers there I'm going to turn the, the 
output from the signal generator up so as you can see the marker so hopefully you're getting it there I'll also change the repetition rate and so hopefully you can see the marker there so I don't know which repetition rate is best unfortunately um, so again I'm going to move the, uh, the bell across so I'll get that onto the central line which you probably can't see but the, that's the central line of the scope and now I'm going to adjust the IF cores again just turn that down okay I'm adjusting core number one that's the one furthest away from the antenna or nearest the output if you like that's number one done now I'm on to number two now I'm moving to number three and again we, can see, we know that's an overdrive so I'll turn that uh, that drive signal there. I'm struggling behind the tripod. Um, now I'm going to um, pop number four. I very easily go over there, but it's not where I want it. Okay, so again to pop number one. Um, and then uh, I'm saying pot, I mean core. I'm thinking of pot core. That's core number two. Core number three has just been done. Now I'm doing core number four. Okay, I, th I think I'm, I'm very slightly to one side of that frequency. Um, I'm trying to say I'm working around the tripod so I'm just going to move that over I've also got a fine tuning on here um, okay so I'll turn the uh, the marker uh, signal voltage down a little bit there. right so I'm adjusting core number one again number two core number three and finally core number four okay so that's all peaked out uh, there I'll just change the repetition rate in the hope that it helps you okay so that's the, uh, the frequency from the the advance and that's uh, just rattling around 470 uh, kilohertz and that central mark there is that frequency and I suppose for completeness what we ought to do is look at the, what the the width of that is so I'll bring the marker down uh, to the high side over there somewhere okay so there hopefully one of those has shown us there that frequency is uh, 478 uh, 478 kilohertz uh, there we know that's 478 we know that that was 470 and uh, what I'll do is I'll just swing that uh, down to the other side so I've put it there um, and again I'll just mess with the with this in the hope that we avoid aliasing so there and that frequency is uh, 463 kilohertz okay so uh, you can see what they, that spread is there.
so we're now we're just looking at the output of the audio I haven't changed any of the volume control or tone control and what I'm going to do now is just tune the radio through and see if I find that same four or five stations that we had at the beginning um, that's a big one. He was actually out there hunting for elk with uh, Buffalo Bill Cole. So that's the first uh, station, which looks a lot stronger. That station was uh, quite indistinct before. There's another one there now. So another little station. Okay, so uh, we've gained uh, an extra station, um, and um, I'm just going back the uh, f the other way through the tuning dial. And that first station that we picked up was uh, 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 a lot stronger than the uh, original uh, signal. Oh, and by the way, that's the medium. Uh, wave band that I was tuning through there. Okay, um, uh, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I just feel a lot more confident with this kit I've got on the bench now, and uh, it's just a bit of fun. So, um, uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.